entry. So uh, fast time entry is a very important thing because uh, a lot of customers want to use the fast time entry because they can the ESS use ESS client access licenses to use it. So it's a lot of lot much cheaper for them f uh, for all the employees. Um, therefore, we we have now released some. Uh, new features on the fast time entry, uh, but we will re release a lot of more features on the fast time entry in the upcoming releases. So this is the first wave of features coming in the fast time entry. So first of all, we have um, made more um, comfort for the entry of start and end time. Um, for example, start date is automatically uh, chosen by today on the uh, time now or um, automatically if you have an already an appointment on the today then it goes on the end time of the last entry. Um, you can now edit and delete um, entries in the fast time entry. That's pretty cool because um, uh, now you're more flexible. It's more flexible for you. Um, so and the delete functionality will be um, uh, connected to the ESS client users so that they are not able to do it because Microsoft has a limitation there. So we are completely Co um, compatible with ESS uh, and we do not um, get in conflict with the uh, license model of Microsoft there. But uh, let me show you all the new features here in the fast time entry to you. So we just open the fast time entry here. And so now it shows up and you see here we have for example now the 2nd of June it's the same time we have here um, 2 5 21 uh, p.m. So uh, let's say okay we have now worked uh, have one end want to enter one hour of work. We select the project here, and um, for example, we choose just ABK uh, enter subject project work. Click save, and then the um, entry shows up down below here. And now you see here we have new symbols here on the right side, and this uh, X for for deleting, and uh, this uh, symbol here for for modifying the entry. And if you just click on this one here, uh, the line gets uh, white instead of gray, and then you can just uh, uh, enter here some some details, um, um, or you modify the the project that you have been working on. Um, or you modify the time and so on and as soon as you're finished you click on save. You're able to choose how far in the past you can modify the time entries so uh, this can be um, uh, chosen for each customer uh, in the settings of CRM project and as soon as some, one of these time entries is connected to a fast uh, to, to a timesheet by the billing, then it cannot be longer any longer modified because then it already has been checked by the project manager and uh, is considered for billing. So then it's not longer possible to modify it by the fast time entry. So. Um, Additionally, um, we have this um, functionality here um, regarding just a second. Yeah, okay. Um, we have additional functionality added in the fast time entry um, shown on, on this slide here. Um, we have now effort to complete, so it's not only on the fast time entry, so effort to complete is a big uh, thing that um, has been requested by a lot of customers um, that it's uh, um, considered by a Serum Project 2. So now we have uh, released uh, the effort to complete functionality throughout all the f uh, activity uh, so that can be used to for time entry. Um, so this can be uh, now used as a new uh, functionality and uh, this is a uh, new feature that is um, given to, to all customers with Rollup 7. Um, and uh, you, um, uh, I just show you the fast time entry feature for um, effort to complete and then I can show you it um, on, on different level two. So um, let's check here the fast time entry. Let's do a new time entry here on, um, on this day. Um, I go to I1 CRM face concept and now you, sh you see there is the ETC button, effort to complete button and if I open it up I get an information how much man days in work is left there. So I see I have 5.565625 man days left 
and um, now you can tell the system for example um, oh I, I know I have to work there a little bit longer so five days will not be enough so I choose seven days and then the system asks me for a reason because uh, I have there a different effort and I um, tell the system okay more complicated um, so by this um, I trigger a workflow in the background and you can choose how this workflow acts so uh, this workflow can uh, act this way that it automatically grants the effort to complete ri rising or lowering in the uh, project or um, that the project manager is informed only or that the project manager has to to um, confirm this uh, um, other effort to complete that is was uh, planned so as soon as I click OK I can close this um, subject here with um, additional working and save and close it so it appears here on my my daily schedule and um, you can see um, this effort to complete in not only on the fast time entry you can see it in all um, activity types throughout the whole system so if we choose for example another uh, method to, to enter our times so I go to file for example click here on new activity I open a task and there I choose um, uh, project uh, task and I go here to I1 CRM phase concept and there I want to make an additional time entry I can do this here for example on Tuesday on Thursday too and um, you see here in the project management section I have this effort to complete and it shows me now the new remaining effort that we just have entered uh, some seconds before so it now shows up the 7.31 uh, um, it automatically uh, takes away these uh, hours here and I can again um, tell the system if I want to have a different effort or even if I want to uh, tell the system that I'm completely done with this project work um, so I can check there yes and the system um, sorry I have to save and the system then checks for me if there are additional tasks um, doing this so the system now checks okay there are different tasks for my project uh, for my um, user available so I cannot close this project node um, so it's it's really a huge functionality that we added here for the effort to complete functionality um, for controlling proposed all these effort to complete f uh, things are um, visible here in the planning table so if we go to the planning table of the project where we just have um, uh, higher, uh, raised the effort to complete then we see in the I1 CRM phase concept we see here the, the um, alert symbol that uh, the man mandates that were projected here 22 are now raised to 24 in total so this was because of Paul he entered two days more so you directly get on this view a very easy uh, information um, where you have a diverting uh, um, effort to complete. So um, that's about fast time entry um, uh, things that we um, created there. And um, uh, one last thing about the fast time entry uh, uh, some customers and partners told us that they don't like that we create here um, appointments with the fast time entry um, so now in the rollup 7 we have added there a, a flag in every appointment that we create with the fast time entry so that you are able to choose by your outlook um, calendar synchronization rule if you want to have uh, these um, appointments created by the fast time entry shown up in your outlook or not and um, an outlook for rollup 8 and rollup 9 we will then be able to um, that you will able to choose which activity type will be created by the fast time entry so it will not be uh, limited to um, appointments only